good morning children so we have completed chapter 9 water resources today we will be doing the exercises first is fill in the blanks so the technique for accumulating and storing rain water is called dash so it is known as rain water harvesting second is some rivers have their dash in the snow that melts in the dash so some rivers have their origin in the snow that melts in the summer number third is dash are man made lakes built behind a dam so reservoirs are man made lakes built behind a dam number four is tube wells are connected to dash pumps so tube wells are connected to electric pumps then number 5 is the hirakud dam is built on river mahanadi please write down the correct spelling children and also learn them next is match the following so number 1 is hirakud dam so hirakud dam will match with odisha then canal irrigation will match with level plains with fertile soil number 3 is persian wheel persian wheel will match with use of animals to draw water the number 4 is nagarjuna dam it will match with andhra pradesh and lastly tube wells tube wells will match with electric pumps now next question is write t for true and f for false number 1 is rain water harvesting have sorry rain water harvesting contributed to the green revolution so children this answer is false wells and tube wells have contributed to the green revolution so the first answer is false now next children is dams help in preventing floods so this answer is true now third is dams are helpful in producing hydroelectricity again children this answer is true dams are helpful in producing hydroelectricity then number fourth is hirakud dam is in punjab again children this answer is false because hirakud dam is in odisha so number fourth is false then children lastly fifth is uh, actually children there is a printing mistake here it should be fresh water not only water it should be fresh water so please write down fresh just in front of water so question number 5 will be fresh water on our planet earth is unlimited and will last forever so this answer is false fresh water is limited and we have to save it please write down fresh in front of water children okay now the short exercises are over now we will move to question and answers so number first question is name the main sources of water so the main sources of water are rainfall reservoirs rivers oceans seas streams ponds tanks lakes groundwater and springs so all these are the main sources of water next children second question is what is rain water harvesting so rain water harvesting is a technique of accumulating and storing accumulating means collecting so it is the technique of accumulating and storing rain water rain water is collected on the roofs of houses and sent to a deep storage pit moving to the third question how is ground water obtained so children ground water is obtained from wells tube wells and hand pumps next question number 
Why are dams referred to as multipurpose projects? Name three dams in India. So dams serve many purposes such as storing water for irrigation, generating hydroelectricity, preventing floods, providing drinking water. Since dams serve so many purposes, therefore dams are referred to as multipurpose projects. And the three dams in India are Hirakut Dam, Bhakra and Nangal Dam and Tehri Dam. There are other dams also which is given in your book children. So whichever you find easy, whichever name you find easy, you can write it down in your copies. Then last question is, what is sprinkler irrigation? So sprinkler irrigation is an irrigation system in which water is sprayed into the air from a pipe. The water then falls on the plants. So we have discussed all the question answers as well as the exercises children. Please note it down correctly in your copies and keep your copies updated. Okay children, so this is it for today. Now in next class, we will be taking up our next chapter. Please revise and learn the question answers. We will meet again in the next class. Thank you children.